In 2019, I was having a very difficult time being around people. I eventually packed my belongings up and went to live my life at age 30 by myself in the woods. I was scouting an area that was in Delaware County, which was in the suburbs of Philly, looking for the perfect spot to spend my summer. After my long journey testing different areas, dealing with bad experiences such as my tent flooding after heavy rains, I found a huge hill that probably went up a few thousand feet. This hill was on a giant rock outcropping with many beautiful stones such as granites. I honestly thought I found the perfect camp secluded from everyone. The area was well planted with huge trees of many sorts and it was surrounded by a large creek. So due to all these factors, I set my tent right on top of the hill. The tent I owned was a one person tent, literally just big enough for me to sleep in. This was all I really needed. With the tent set, all I had left to do was create a barrier with local tree branches so I could keep out anyone and hide my tent. After stringing up a huge wall of branches in the area and putting trip lines around the campsite, I began living my life. Many days passed that summer before the incident that changed my life forever happened. Before I delve into this experience, I want to add that it would be nearly impossible for any dog or anyone to get up the hill. Someone would have to be extremely dedicated in finding this place to get to it. During my adventure living alone in the wilderness, my brother would occasionally meet me a bit away to drop off supplies such as beer, food, and water. On a beautiful summer night after it just rained very heavily, I was laying up on the hill right outside my tent. I was immersed in extremely dense fog. The whole area looked as if it was covered in a huge cloud. I was tired from a long walk earlier, so eventually when it hit around 10 p.m., I retired into my tent. I crawled in and lay down with all my equipment around me. It was extremely cramped in there. I zipped up the door flap and began relaxing. I started reading a good book when I noticed it was getting really late, so I got my flashlight out, put on my headlamp, and just relaxed. Periodically, I would text my sister to let her know that I was okay and just conversate about certain things. It hit around 1 a.m. when I just started having a very strange feeling. You know, a feeling something is wrong. I tried to shrug it off, but it wouldn't go away. I lay there with my headlamp fully illuminated. My tent had a tiny opening at the top with the mesh so you could see out of it. Other than that, you can't really see anything on the outside. As I was reading, I suddenly heard something run very loudly towards my tent. It stopped right outside on my left-hand side next to me. Whatever this thing was began loudly barking almost as if a massive dog is right in your face about to attack. I suddenly shuddered with fear, saying to myself, That can't be a dog. There's no possible way anything can get to my tent with my barricade and my trip line, or at least not without making an extreme struggle and lots of noise. In complete fear hearing this beast growl and bark like a maniac, I fumbled to get my phone in a panic and started texting my sister saying, listen, there's something outside my tent and it's pretty pissed off. She texted me back by saying, maybe it's a dog. I knew no dog could get up this hill. It's impossible. If it's not a dog, then what the hell is outside my tent? All of a sudden, that thing stopped and disappeared after about 10 minutes. I sat there terrified and decided to dial 911 on my phone and hold on to it in case that thing came back. After an hour passed and nothing happened, I kicked off my shoes, cracked open a beer, and resumed reading, trying my best to relax. Let me just say I've been in the woods for six months straight before and never had anything like this happen. It was so chilling, I get sick just thinking about it. As I'm laying there, time started to pass by with no sign of the creature. I was too terrified to even look out the tent at this point, plus the ground was covered in fog. Three o'clock rolled around. I firmly held the phone in my right hand just in case. All of a sudden, I was completely paralyzed. I lay there in a state of fear, unable to move any part of my body. I thought I was going to die. All of a sudden, I felt something grab me. Whatever grabbed me began picking me up and smashing me into the ground hard. This thing was so strong that I felt like a ragdoll. 
It just kept squeezing me and shaking me as if I was nothing, then tossing me to the ground. I was shocked, horrified, and confused at the same time as I can't see what is doing this to me. I looked at my phone in my hand, desperately trying to move my thumb to hit the dial button, but my thumb wouldn't move. I could hear this thing breathing very loudly, and it was making sinister growls. As this thing was beating me to a pulp, I could tell it was trying to get me outside of the tent. After struggling for probably seven minutes, it suddenly stopped. I was able to move again. My thumb immediately hit 911. I got a girl dispatcher on the line. Right before I was about to yell for help, a thought went through my head. What do I say? I'm in the middle of nowhere in the woods and I was attacked by some dog monster ghost thing? She isn't going to take me seriously. I regretfully ended the call and started texting my sister. I told her about the attack and provided my location. I got no answer. I kept texting, no answer. At that point, I did the only thing I could do. I cowered in my tent for the next few hours waiting for the sun to come up and not knowing whether this thing will return. Once it was light outside, I was able to muster up some courage and barely crawl out of my tent. My body was battered and in extreme pain. I was worn out. I started to look around my tent and nearby surroundings for any footprints or a sign something had been there. I came up empty. No lines were tripped, no branches were moved, and my tent looked undisturbed. It didn't make any sense as I was so beat up I could barely walk. I was so unnerved I immediately moved my campsite. I eventually got a larger tent. I don't know what was menacingly barking right outside my tent or attacked me that night. I don't believe it was a Bigfoot. The aggressive monstrous barking makes me think it might have been a dog man. I'm not certain because I was attacked inside the tent while whatever it was remained outside. I now know there are apparently things out there that can attack you without revealing themselves or leaving any signs of having been there. I know if it wanted to, it could have killed me very easily. I have a feeling that this thing was pissed at me for tearing down the giant tree branches to fortify my camp. So to any of you who decide to camp in the middle of the woods, don't harm any type of tree or plant. You never know what might get upset. You may regret it as I did.